As the sun sets, the sun rises. It has officially been one day since I quit from Dex Milk. I grabbed the, what was called a battle jacket off of the street and went to an empty house and squatted for about a week. After eating leftover gas station sandwiches in the dumpster behind a 7-Eleven with the super amazing radical skateboarder Tony Hawk, I kind of looked at him weird because he told me to take my shirt off. And he asked me if I was of age. I don't see why that would matter anyway. Because no one knows my age. Because I'm not a person. No. I am a singular shoe on the cock of a man that loves feet. Yeah. Either way, I woke up on a bed of broken glass in town all PMs. And it looks like a few used porno mags with a razor blade. Ugh, this house is fucking dirty. I started started to wander around the busted up room that was probably a home for two romantic drug addicts who used to like to wipe each other's assholes on repeat. I walked over to what seems to be a TV and a DVD player, and I saw a DVD on the floor. Now, I'm a man of musical entertainment. Not movies, but this movie caught my eye in this abandoned house. Suddenly, the electric started to work, like I paid the bills or something. I don't know. I picked up the DVD and blew the dust off, and it was Spider-Man No Way Home. Huh, Spider-Man. This is what them nerds like, right? Uh, Well, I had nothing else going on today. And my friend Enrique was trying to get me two enchiladas with homemade cum sauce, but he never came back. I wonder if he still has the mild sauce at home. Either way, that doesn't matter. Uh, I popped the DVD player in. Surprisingly, it worked. But the menu, it looked a little weird. This movie just came out in 2021. But it's 1992. But it's 2021. So, uh, I don't want to say what... What happened in the menu? Because it's a little crude, but um, it showed what seems to be someone in a Spider-Man costume taking a hit of a bong while the theme song plays. Highly realistic smoke came from the mask into the TV screen. While the Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. Hit some bongs, burn some blunts, beat some people, kill some guns. Look out! Here comes the (laughs) Spider-Man! Spider-Man, 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 barbecue sauce, Spider-Man! Well, that was an alternate ending to the theme song. I kind of shrugged. It starts with the main protagonist not being Peter Parker, nor Miles Morales, or any other Spider-Man protagonist in the films. No, it was a boy named Emmanuel. Emmanuel, come downstairs, we're having barbecue sandwiches. What? I gotta go find the Green Goblin. This Emmanuel kid grabbed his skateboard and tried to climb a wall. It's not working! He then bangs his skateboard in the wall violently as he hits another bong with the Spider-Man mask on. He decides to go down to his dad to eat a nice freshly made barbecue sauce slamwich? Okay. What is it, just bread and barbecue sauce? Who the fuck eats that? That's like seasoned ketchup. You'll see, Dad. I'll be the best Spider-Man ever. Emmanuel quickly puts on his gloves and starts punching his dad in the face really violently. And he then proceeded to quote-unquote, and I'm not exaggerating this at all at the slightest. I really wish I was. Get buck with it. With his father. After savagely beating his father to death, he cries over the death of his father being the fault of someone else. 
And his father's last words were, with great barbecue sauce comes great bathrooms. Then it shows a clip of Emmanuel walking to his school. He's web-zipping as he's skateboarding onto trucks in mid-public. One of the guys caught him, and he hawked a loogie right in the guy's eye and then skull-fucked him for seven hours before the film continued. After crushing his dude's tonsils with his hard mixed cock... Suddenly, on the way to the route of his school, though, it appeared a man. Oh, no. He had giant metal wings, and he flew. He flew everywhere. But it wasn't the vulture. It wasn't even the actor. It was... It, it was... Is that, the, is that the lead singer of Chupa Scabra? God damn it. <laughs> the vulture... Then hits a manual and throws him right across the street. Take this, yo. <laughs> oh! Ouch! Why isn't it working? You're about ready to get the chupa stomp. 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 <laughs> a card just violently sideswiped the singer, killing him on impact. But as he was getting crashed, he flew into another intersection and he got hit by a bigger semi truck. One, one last word, yo. My cockhead is purple. Damn. Emmanuel then started to regret the fact that he was Spider Man. He went back home and made quote unquote barbecue sauce. The sinister barbecue sauce looked really sinister on the sandwich. It didn't look like normal barbecue sauce. Then it depicted a scene of Emmanuel spreading his ass cheeks and shitting a fat wad all over the bread. Oh, shit! While he was doing this, the Green Goblin, which was played by some some crazy dude, he was he was old. He was very old. He was talking about his wife being shot or something. It was Crazy Dave. Crazy Dave never played the Green Goblin before. I'm gonna fucking get you, you goddamn motherfucker! <sighs> Crazy Dave went and charged over Emmanuel as his pants were around his ankles. I need help! I need help! Don't worry, I got you. Gabe suddenly busts through the door in a Wolverine costume. I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be Wolverine, and I'm gonna fuck this shit up. Fucking MCU isn't real. Twas dead set. It was Wolverine and Spider-Man against the Green Goblin. Wolverine charged the Green Goblin, but the Green Goblin threw Wolverine down and violently raped his butthole. While he was doing this, Emmanuel decided to web shoot his cock making his dick plastered against his gooch. The fight was getting intense, but then Emmanuel in last resort, he pulled his pants down again, shitting violently at the Green Goblin. The Green Goblin had a scat fetish, so it didn't scare him at all. He took it. He took the shit right down the mouth. Right down the mouth right now! But then, one person came, an anti-hero. Someone that could break the cycle of villains versus superheroes. I think you all didn't have a good fucking day. L.A. Beast kicks down the door and he has a symbiote around his face. He suddenly turns into Venom, grabbing Green Goblin and eating his taint alive. Have a good fucking day. Yeah. I'm the real Spider Man. Emmanuel got triggered. You're the real what? I'm the real Spider Man. I'm gonna fucking kill you, Ellie Beast. He then proceeds to shit in Ellie Beast's mouth violently as he's stomping in his rib cage. Ellie Beast took it like the little slut he is. 
ズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズズ No, I'm not. Then fight me. Nuke it. I don't need to take shit from you. You're shocker. They made you shocker. The author made you shocker. You're fucking weak. Come on. He's like the most useless villain. Get the fuck out of here. I fucked your mom. Emmanuel then charged that shitholes, beating him to the ground violently. He then pulled out an adult sized whisk and stuck it right in his asshole and started spinning it. <laughs> Better not tell anybody about this! It's working! Yo, I'm gonna go skate. The movie then ended on really harsh credits. And I never watched. Spider-Man again. <laughs>